Hello everyone, my name is Dominique Stewart and I'm a recent graduate from Dev Code Camp. Just to give you guys a little background on myself and how I became a full stack developer, I served in the U.S. Navy for four years and in those four years I was an operations specialist. Now that doesn't have anything to do with IT or software development per se, but I did get to work a lot with the IT personnel and that's where my interest in tech began. After I served my four years in the Navy, I ended up getting out and getting my A-plus certification and ended up working for HP and then getting a job with their client, BP, Oil and Energy. Now, while I was talking to the IT personnel there, they all kind of said the same thing. They said if they could work in the tech field and do something different, they would all be software developers. And I took their words to heart, which is where I end up studying Python. And then after I studied Python, I end up finding Dev Code Camp and becoming a full stack developer. Now that was one of the reasons why I wanted to be a full stack developer. The other reason is what you see on the screen, nerd culture. This has been a passion project for a while. I always wanted a site like this and the only thing that was stopping me is just, I didn't know how to create it. So as you can see, nerd culture is a, you can create a profile on a social storytelling platform, share posts, novels, art, and content while getting help from other creators or collaborate with them. And I'm going to show you exactly how that works. Now, this is a Mern stack, um, full stack application. So what was used was Mongo's Express, React, and Node.js. And also in the back end was Gravatar, which is to help like make profile pictures for the users. And you'll see that in a few minutes, actually. And then for the front end, to connect the front end to the back end, I end up using Redux, which is it, it was a tough learning curve, but it really, really helped me out in the end. And I'm so glad that I took the time to learn that as well. But let's get started. As you guys can see at the top left corner, we have nerd culture where it flashes red if the mouse clicks over it. And then we have the register and login buttons. Just to show you guys how to make a profile, we'll go to sign up. And as you can see, it says create your account. Here we'll put in a name, John Doe jd at gmail.com and then we'll enter a password and just to let you show you guys something when you click on register and clearly this doesn't match you'll see an error come up that says passwords do not match it'll stay there for about five seconds and then disappear just like that um one of the interesting things i didn't even think about when making that alert at first i had it in white and it just showed up as just passwords don't match in black letters so I had to put that red box around it to make it stick out more but <laughs> that's just something I just wanted to point out it's the little things with making this website that I really appreciate it just like how this even turns into a lighter red just hovering over it it's just little things like that that makes me happy about it but if you hit register oh passwords don't match so I actually messed up I'm going to re-enter it and then bam, you see, it says, welcome John Doe. And the next step is creating a profile. So I'm actually gonna log out and then I'm gonna show you guys that the sign in and login feature still work. So JD at gmail.com and then enter the password. Uh oh. And sorry about that, but yeah, we log right back in. And then, so now I'm gonna show you guys the create profile. In the create profile, you will select your status here. And we have authors, which we wanna bring in artists, um, just anybody that can draw, paint, or any type of artist. Gamer, weeb, weeb is just a slang word for a nerd who likes anime a lot, or really into Japanese culture. And then we have author and artist, all the above and just plain old nerd and so let's select all the above actually no let's select Arthur and we'll have a short bio about him all right and once you submit it says profile created that will also last for about five seconds 
And then from here, you see that create profile is gone. You will have edit profile and delete my account available now. And if you need to change anything, like you wanted to change it back to artist or gamer or just go back to all the above, you can do that by going back to the edit profile button. So here, as you can see, we have creators, which will show you other accounts that were made here. And then we have literature, comics, which these obviously have not been made yet. So this is why the page not found error is on here. And the same goes for drawing and the forums. And when you click on dashboard, it goes back to the home. Also, if you click on this, it'll to lead you back to the home screen as well. So then we go into the literature right here. And as you can see, there's different posts right here. Hello world, hello everybody. Let's say, And once you submit it, you see post created and it will show the dates right here. Now, as you notice on this John Doe, he has this little outline of his profile picture. So if you connect, if you have a Gravatar account, which most people don't even know that they do have a Gravatar account, it will show the profile from that website. Um, as long as it's associated with the right email. And then right here, you see how this doesn't have an X. This means that only this user, John Doe, can delete his own post. And we'll do that right now. And just to do another example. If we submit and go back, you can also like your own post and not just like it. You can also take the light away and like other ones and do the same. And then when you go click on discussions, you can actually leave a comment on this post. And as you see, it will be the same thing. It will show the date at the time it was posted. And that is pretty much it for nerd culture. Now, I'm actually working on a lot of different things for the future of this. I'm not even sure that I want to call it nerd culture at the website. I actually think that would be nice as like a company name. And then I'm really working on a different name for this. But there's going to be so many more, much more features. I also want to get other artists like musicians to be on here in the post. I want to add videos where you can post videos, eventually have people post their own profile pictures on this website. And it's just actually a lot in the making right now. And this is a project that I'm going to be working on for a while. And I mean, I can't wait till you guys actually see the finished product of this. And if you feel free to um, just contact me on my GitHub account if you want to see where I'm at with it or if you want to see the latest features that was added to it. And before I go, I want to show you guys also that delete my account does work. And it gives you a warning as soon as you click on it, are you sure this is cannot be undone? And then you'll go ahead and hit OK. And now your account has been permanently deleted. And that's it for my project. Thank you guys so much.